Halo itself was this amazing production, you know, yeah. in, in, filmed in Budapest and, you know, Paramount. Paramount are huge. And yeah, so, yeah, they're doing some really good stuff now. Really, really good stuff. Yeah, though Halo was critiqued a lot by the fans of the games. I yes, think, yeah, yeah, I did hear this. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about it? So we were there filming and uh, we went out to a bar one night and uh, me and I, so I played a Spartan um, and a couple of the other Spartans went out to a bar and we're there and we're, you know, we're not supposed to talk about what we're doing. And uh, do other people to each other? <laughs> well, probably both. You know, we're not supposed to talk, especially say like, you know, any specifics about what we're doing. Mm. But we're there and we ended up kind of sharing a standing table with another group, a group of guys who were like on a bachelor party or something. And they were great fun. And we we're, we we're talking to them and they're like, oh, come on, what are you? So you're actors, what are you guys doing here? What are you doing here? And I won't name names, but one of us, wasn't me, said, oh, we're filming Halo. Yeah. And we play Spartans, but I can't say any more than that. Mm. And uh, they blew up. Yeah. And these guys were like, what? That's so fucking cool, you know? <laughs> To, what are you guys doing? Is it crazy? Are there aliens? Like, are you shooting aliens? Like all this stuff. So they're super Halo dudes. And uh, and one of them, I'll never forget, one of them was like, yeah, so is this season going to be better than the first season? And I'd seen the first season and I liked the first I season. I enjoyed it. I, I actually really liked it and, and was like, um, I mean, it's it's a new season, dude. Like, it's gonna be it's gonna be what it is. It's different, you know. Yeah. But it's it's gonna be great. It's gonna be fun, mm -hmm. you know. Trying to not kill the vibe or whatever with this guy. What am I gonna say? Like, oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be terrible, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I was like, no, no, it's it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. And uh, he goes, he goes, yeah. I just want some more action. Mm -hmm. He's like, we we play these games. And we want some more action. And I was like, well, don't worry, dude, you're, you're going to get action, mm. you know? you're going to go action. But that, that's what I heard. I heard a lot of people were like vying for more action. I, mean, I haven't I haven't watched the whole second season yet, the one I'm in. So yeah. but I've seen the previews and the trailers and, and, and stuff like that of, of, you know, how it ends and all that. And there's a lot of action. Let us know in the comments what you think about the series and the games. Are you fans? Are you not? Why? You better be fans. I watched honestly, here's the thing, like I never played the games. I never played like the Halo games, so I can't judge. But at the same time, as a separate from me, I enjoyed it. There were like some things that I was like wasn't really impressed. With, but in general, I really enjoy action. There is action. It's fucking great. Yeah, it's amazing. I think it's it's really good, and it looks amazing too. It's not yeah. just it's not just like it. It has every. It takes all the boxes. Yeah, and at the same time, like there is a story, and I just decided at some point that. It's really, really hard, I think, to make fans happy. So, yeah, you're never gonna I mean, make everybody like, happy. Fallout did it. Like Fallout was like basically, I think all Fallout fans are really, really happy with it. But it's it's a really rare case. Usually, when it's uh, it's a film or series that's based on a game, there will be someone who's who's unhappy. I remember they were like, "Well, Master Chief never takes off the helmet. This is like my." But yeah, but in a game. When you run around and shoot aliens, but here you have an amazing actor who plays uh, Master Chief. Yeah, Pablo. And, yeah, yeah. And also, it's just like Forrester, you can't have this guy all the time wearing a helmet and hide this good good actor. Like, and just in general, it's a story like that. Yeah, sometimes you are in the locker rooms naked <laughs> or like in the shower there is the scenes that were like you know, but it's, it's a series. It's a very different media than a game. You can't just make it all action, 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 because only Halo fans will be happy and not all of them will as yeah, well. Yeah, so I, I, I was a bit confused. I think for me it was, I really enjoyed it. I kind of enjoyed it, I want more, but I'm not sure, is it, it will be there season three? I don't think there's gonna be a season yeah. three. I saw an article uh, a couple months ago saying, I think the show has been has yeah. been stopped, but. I don't know. You I never know, I mean, it's a huge universe, the Halo yeah. universe, you know, I, I did a, a giant deep dive and I totally nerded out. I didn't mm. play any of the games, but I read all the books and mm. and uh, listened to a couple audio books about it. And they have, you know, they have so much in that world that they can yeah. explore if they wanted to do something else. I've heard rumors they're gonna do a movie and stuff like yeah. that, so. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. I, 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 I think like sometimes fans are right. Sometimes there are some horrible productions that are based on books or film or like games or whatever. Yeah. I think in this case it was, it was, uh, it was a good, good production. I enjoyed it. Yeah. How was it working on it? 
working on it was great. I mean, it was <laughs> the, the bet. The, one of the funniest things for me about it was they were like, look, Spartans are fucking strong yeah. and huge. So here's a gym membership <laughs> and we're checking to make sure that you're going every oh, really? And I love the gym. Yeah. Like, I, I work out as much as I can, you know, like I'm like, sweet, I'm gonna kill this. I'm gonna get big. <laughs> so I'm going to the gym every day, two hours in the gym, you know, and I'm drinking protein shakes and I'm, and I'm talking, there's a personal trainer who's like, you know, supervising our workouts and stuff, like sending us things and checking in with us all the time. And I'm getting big, I'm getting really strong and it's, I'm, I'm enjoying that. And they, <laughs> They then go after like, you know, we've been there for a couple of weeks and we're working out as a team, like mm -hmm. me and, and two of the other, you know, actors were Spartans working out as a team. And, and we're like, damn, like, are we gonna have to be naked? Like, what's we gonna be like wearing towels? <laughs> like, what are they, you know, like in nope. Top Gun, you know? So and we haven't, we've had a couple of discussions with the costume department and, and the makeup team and stuff. And, uh, and they've told us like, we're gonna cover you guys and like augmentation scars which is how in this in the lore of halo they had the, the spartans were surgically augmented with you know mm. killer instincts and like all this stuff and, and so anyway so they're like surgically not by i don't think they're bionic but they were you know hormonally adjusted to be like superhuman so we're like damn like scars is like Shit, I think we're gonna be naked because <laughs> it takes place in the locker room so yeah. we're killing ourselves in the gym you know dieting and, and the whole nine yards we show up I remember <laughs> I show up for my fitting uh like a few days whatever before we're supposed to shoot and they're very hush hush about everything you know so I have no idea what costume is gonna be if any you know what color the towel is gonna be I don't know anything <laughs> so I go in and they're like okay great there's, there's like six people and they're wonderful. And they're like, so we have the suit for you. And I'm like, oh great, the suit, like the halo. Everybody wants to talk about the suit. So I have the suit, cool. So they're, they come in with the suit and I, it's this big, big rubber outfit, you yeah. know, chest piece with legs and boots and all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, okay, great. I'm not gonna be naked. This is perfect. And they're like, all right, so we're gonna try it on. So I start putting it on, put the pants on and the trousers on, and they're like, oh, no, 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 we forgot the, the undersuit. And I was like, oh, the undersuit, okay. They go out, they come back in a minute later, and they have basically a wetsuit, but it's a muscle yeah. wetsuit. <laughs> so it's got calf boosters, you know, bicep boosters, you know, huge pec boosters, but you know, butt booster, all these like pads. It's this, this like floppy Mrs. Doubtfire fucking wetsuit yeah. that I have to wear. And I'm thinking, why, why the fuck am I working out every day for two hours if I'm putting this on? You know, which is killer. I'm like, what? Like I'm in pain right now from how much I've been working out. And like, I just want to eat some pizza. Yeah. You know. So the best part for me was hilarious. That day, I remember, I'll never forget. Uh, I'm wearing red underpants and they're kind of silky, like these great underpants that I buy. They're mm -hmm. like, uh, they're called Airism from Uniqlo. They're amazing. Yeah. Anyway, I was wearing those at the time, but they're like red and this suit's black and it has a cutout for the crotch so that you can pee on, yeah. you know, on the day without having to like totally derig. Yeah. So I put, <laughs> I put this muscle suit on, which is black and sticking out of the crotch is my red <laughs> underpants <laughs> with this room full of like 10 people and everyone's ignoring how awkward it is, you know? So I'm like, can we get the- have a photo. <laughs> I wish I did. I was like, please, let me get the pants, please. The, the, the suit pants. So I put those on <laughs> and we put this thing on and dude, it looked amazing. Like, yeah. It was sick. And uh, I loved it. It had, you know, all the, the, you know, the insignia and all this stuff. And uh, it was cool. It was really cool. And the scars that we were talking about all went all on our face and, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And um, the only thing was dude, that suit was hot. Yeah. And this was, I think it was September, October, but we're in a studio and it's hot and we are melting, mm -hmm. like wearing all this stuff. And then how long have you, have you had to shoot? So we shot for like a week. Oh, really? Yeah. But it was, it was mainly inside the locker room. We come in, we taunt them, and then we had some other stuff scheduled to shoot, which they ended up changing. All right. So we didn't end up shooting anything uh, 
anything like actiony, which was pretty yeah. disappointing. I really wanted to do some action stuff. Yeah, because as, as I remember, well, let's not spoil it for anyone who didn't watch it. But I remember, I remember the locker room, room scene, and then there isn't. There, there aren't, <laughs> there aren't any of you left. <laughs> so yeah, we get vaporized. And I had the script and I was like, dude, this is going to be so cool to shoot. When we so there, there was planned like so there was action a, scene. There was you... a plan where, you know, it's the, the battle and then the, what were they called? We were called Cobalt Team, but yeah. where the main team comes and, and finds us post battle, you know. But we didn't end up, sadly, ended up doing that. And uh, yeah, I mean, that was disappointing. Oh, that's but, a shame. <laughs> you know, it's it's par for the course. You know, I was happy to be on board. I was happy yeah. to be part of it. They were a great team. Everyone was really cool. But uh, yeah, no, the suit, I'll never forget. Everyone asked about the suit and all I can remember is that crotch moment. And then my personal towel person, mm -hmm. whose job it was to follow me around the set, the wipe, wipe your wiping wipe. the floor. Yeah. Where I was dripping sweat onto the floor so imagine, that no yeah. one would slip. So that I wouldn't slip. Because oh. I was literally dripping. Like, I think I probably lost 10, 20 pounds. So Pablo Schreiber, how, how was working with him? He was great. Yeah. He was really cool. He's really uh, about the work. So in the two weeks prior to when he's we... He's huge, right? He's big. Yeah. Big dude. I think he's like 6'5". Yeah. But I mean, he was mammoth. Like he was yoked for the show. And we trained once or twice together. And he was just on another level, mm. just unreal. We actually went to a, one of our training sessions. We went to a yoga class, oh, really? which was which was great. Not what I expected. Yeah. And we went to this yoga class, and uh, yeah, he was he was good at yoga. He yeah. You know? And yeah. I know my wife's like a yogi, oh, so I know yeah. when someone's good at yoga, and he was mm. good. Um, so that was cool. Yeah, because I remember him like last, first time I noticed him, he was in uh, American Gods. Yeah, I think he was really good at it. He was one yeah. of my most favorite characters in, in, in that show. Have, have you watched it? I have. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen uh, Thirteen Hours? Yes. Yeah, because he's so he's, he's yeah. amazing in that too. Yeah. Great character. Yeah, I remember that. I think he's a really good actor, and he is kind of like you can see that his work ethics and everything is like. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He came. I remember he was. He had a, another topless scene or something like that. And he came to a dinner where we were all sitting, uh, the Spartans. And he wasn't going to come, but he was like, oh, you guys are all meeting, I'm going to come. Mm. But he wasn't allowed to eat it, he wasn't eating. Yeah. So he came to the dinner and was like looking longingly at the rest of oh. us, enjoying our food. And he was like, no, I, I need to be, I can't eat, I have to film a topless scene. No, I mean, like, I, I, feel, I feel his pain, but at the same time, if I'd get paid so much money, I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to do it. You got to yeah. do it. 100%. It's like because it's like it's your, it's your job, and it like I th I'm pretty sure like his paycheck is pretty good on, on that show. I can imagine. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, you got to do what you got to do. So yeah. But yeah. But he was what, what was cool about him is, and it actually I, I found this was kind of the first time I witnessed how invested he was in in the production as oh. a whole, as opposed to just like you know how much he cared. Yeah. Because he cared a lot. Because he came in and he was talking to us about our scenes, about other scenes that he was wasn't he, even was in. Was he a co-producer on this one or not? Uh, he may have been on season yeah. two. And he came in and he was he was curious about what was happening in the production and wanting to know, and the story. And he was saying, oh, well, what about this in the story? Well, maybe, you know, is that why this is happening? Mm -hmm. And it was unrelated to, to what he was, yeah. what he had to do yeah. personally, yeah. you know? And I found that actually really inspiring because it's like when you're on a production and, and I'm learning about this now, when you're on a production, all the pieces matter, you know? And I think as a young actor, as a younger actor myself, all I thought about was, well, what's my character? What's, what's my character got to do? Mm -hmm. How am I going to make my character stand out or whatever, as opposed to like serving the story, mm -hmm. which the question now, when I first get a piece of paper, that's a text for an audition, or if I get a part, I think my first thought is, how does this character serve the story? What yeah. is this character's duty to the overall structure and, and, and story arc? 